So, stay there. So, little update on young Molly that's coming to the end of her stay with us. If you remember when we first started working with her, she was creeping, sliding across the floor. She wasn't steady. Um, she didn't have the confidence to be sent out where she hadn't seen what we're sending her for. So her blind retrieves were really insecure and we really had to work on the confidence and her trust in what we're telling her to do into the arm, casting her back. Then we looked her and she had a little bit of an issue with reluctancy to give us what was in her mouth. So we were looking at the circling, we were looking at the, as I say, the reluctancy to lift her head willingly and present it to us. Good girl. So all of these little sort of cracks that we've ironed out and she's actually doing really, 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 really well. So to further the test and to further the confidence building stuff, what we're doing is we're not doing it on tracks. We're seeing how she gets on. We're seeing if she does actually trust that arm in grass that's sort of that deep. Uh, and whether or not, because we've mixed it up a little bit and she's returning to us with, um, you know, an element of friction and stuff that she's got to navigate through in terms of the long grass, does that change the return habit or are he still nailing home the fact that she comes back to us willingly and offers her head nicely? So let's have a go. Go back. Nice and straight out there. Go back. Good. Little bit of reluctancy. Good girl. Good girl. But that's kind of expected. So I'm not going to reach down and snatch this. I'm not going to look at her. Sit. And there it is. Lovely present. Head up. Dead. Good girl. Now, what we saw there was her running out clearly. But we're not there yet. The reason why she's stopping is because she still feels that she requires our guidance. Totally normal, totally fine. And that's what happens when you do alleviate the tracks, take away the visual aids and put them in a very, very kind of samey environment like this, where she'll go out to a certain point, she'll panic, she won't know what to do. She doesn't want to get told off. So she'll turn around, sit and look at us because she's learned if she does that, then we cannot tell her off for that. But as you saw there, very, very quickly, she regained her faith in us with a little bit of a go back command to say, yes, go on, mate, you can go, carry on. But with her hunting ability, she managed to find it quite quickly, hold the air in and bring it back to me for a, a, a retrieve and a delivery and a sit that is a thousand times better than what it was a couple of weeks ago. Molly, good girl. So let's try just a normal heel. Good girl, normal mark, simple stuff, but I wanna see whether or not she's got that drive and confidence to get out there, punch through this long grass, and then get back to me as quickly and as effectively as possible. Mark, out it goes. A little bit longer this time, Molly, 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 good. A little bit longer this time as she's had the opportunity to see it. Hi Lars there, good girl. Bit of verbal encouragement. Hi Lars there. Hi Lars, good girl. Hi Lars, good girl. Hi Lars, good girl. Hi Lars, good girl. Holding that area nicely, good girl. Go back, good girl. Hi Lars there. Hi Lars there. Hi Lars, good girl. Hi Lars, good girl. Good girl, hi Lars, there it is. Good girl, in you come. Good girl, come on, good girl. Not gonna look at her, not gonna overbear her, here. Sit, give her something to do, give her a job. Fetch it, fetch it, good. Good, bring it back in nicely, good. Molly, sit. Good girl, dead, good, dead. Good girl. Now, very, very common, completely unscripted, as you can imagine. Dogs will drop retrieves. It happens, okay? Like you just saw there, for whatever reason, she decided to drop it, okay? Might have had a tickle in her ear, might have had something on her face, we don't know. But the key thing is, is because the dog has to re-pick it up immediately. Because if that's a pricked bird, that's running down the street, that's gone, okay? So, Yes, it's going to be common, not ideal. It's not ideal, I get that. 
but sometimes dogs will purposefully drop what's in their mouth for whatever reason. The key thing is not to panic about it, don't make it an issue. Encourage the dog to re-pick it up, but if it's interested or being distracted, kick it along the floor, make it move so it draws the attention back to the retrieve. The dog then picks it up and then brings it back to you where you can then carry on your delivery sort of style or drills or whatever you're doing. Okay, so why didn't I blow the whistle there to help her hold an area, okay? I'm going to blow my whistle different to what her owners are going to blow her, their whistles, all right? So I don't want to complicate the issue by teaching her a tone that comes from me so that when she goes home, she already has to get used to a different tone or a tone that is not the same as what she's used to, okay? Obviously, when she does go home, there's a bigger percentage of her remembering what her owner's tone sounds like and then keying onto that. So that's why I never use the whistle to hold her in that area. I just use the high loss command to give her a vocal encouragement, keeping her motivated, keeping her interested, keeping her in that environment where I knew the dummy was. Good girl, Molly. Yes, progress. Well done, mate.